Hello. This video is going to show you how to set up your Windows computer for working on the computer science server. I'll say something about Linux and Mac in just a second. This is for my courses. If you search for my name on Google or whichever search engine, <coughs> you'll see me. You go to teaching. And the software and homework setup is what we're looking at. Okay, there's two programs that you're going to need. <coughs> One is called Putty, which allows you to open a connection to run commands on the computer science server. And the other is FileZilla, and that's going to let you transfer files. If you're on Mac or Unix or Linux, you'll already have something like Putty installed. So if you have Mac, Linux, or Unix, open your terminal. And on a Mac, that is a program that's under, I think, Applications and then Utilities, uh, called Terminal. And then once you have your terminal open, you run the command ssh, whatever the username is that you've been given for CS, and then at cs.indstate.edu. Okay, so under Linux or Unix, you don't need PuTTY because you already have SSH. And if you already have an SFTP program that you're using, that's fine, or you could use FileZilla. Now if you're on Windows, you'll need to install both of these. Let's go ahead and take a look at PuTTY first. Click on the link, it takes you to the PuTTY download page, and the one you want is the Windows installer for everything. Go ahead and let it download. When it's done downloading, you click on it to run it, let it install. Just click through the install. When it's done, it should be in your start menu. Buddy. Um, here under host name or IP address, you put cs.indstate.edu and leave this SSH, that's secure, and leave the port as 22, that's a secure port. And then go ahead and click open. So uh, this is now talking to the computer science server and it's asking me for my username. Use whichever username you were given and use whichever password you were given. So this says hello, this is a uh, funny quote for the day. Um, then this here is called the prompt and the cursor here is showing that it's waiting for me to type a command. There's a bunch of common commands that are listed on this software and homework page here. PWD prints which directory I would look at if I typed ls. So the way you can think about this putty, it's just like you were using my computer here. And it all the time you're sort of inside of some directory so PWD is showing that I'm inside of this directory and LS is to list the files it'll list the files so that's like this side over here and if I want to run a program so CD is for change directory tilde is my home directory install is a directory I have there. Um, I have a, a file called pfgw64 which is a program so if you have a program in Windows you would double click it here you would say dot slash pfgw64 and it would run. Okay so that one is gonna display some help information. And any of the programs, any of the files that are listed here with the star, those are things that can be run. All right, there's other um, commands here that you'll learn how to use. But for now, you have PuTTY running. Exit when you're done. But the other program that you'll need is FileZilla or some other FTP client. Uh, FileZilla works fine go ahead and download the client you don't need the server it'll download you're going to install it same way wherever it downloaded or right here you click on it to open it 
let it run. Uh, next, it's asking to install some extra thing. We don't need that. So decline that. Now after it's um, done downloading, it'll go ahead and install. I already have it installed, so I'm just going to cancel, but you would see a screen that says click next to install and just click through the installation. Now once you have it installed, you'll see it in your start menu, FileZilla. And when you open it up, the host, you need to put the same as we did in PuTTY, cs.indstate.edu your username and password and the port is left blank you need to put the same one that was over in putty 22 that's for secure and then click quick connect up here at the top it's showing you um, everything that it's done so far and then these two windows on the left are showing your local computer and these two windows on the right two panels on the right are showing the CS server so if you want to look at what's on your desktop, say, click on there. <coughs> this is showing the folder you're in up at the top, and these are showing the files in the folder. Over here, I'm seeing my home directory. Click into some other directory. And then these are the files that are in that directory. If I want to transfer something from my computer to the server, I just drag it over. I can drag it like this, it'll go into this install directory, or I could just put it on whichever directory I want it to go into. So now you see it showed up there. If I want to delete it, I can just go ahead and delete it. And if I want to transfer something from the CS server, I just go the other way. Click and drag to whichever folder I want to put it into. And that's it. There it showed up. Go ahead and close it when you're done. And you have both programs installed. You'll be learning more about how to use PuTTY and issue commands in your course.